Hello everybody, welcome to Team Fantastics game number 8 in the Rebel League. 1-5 uh, lost 2. Um, upgraded the, the stadium there to level 2 so I can buy an enhancement soon. Uh, got 3 Claw Mighty Blow and some block. Went block first on these, I'm trying to build a ball carrier uh, You know, with a stat, seeing as it's a long term league. Um, Cyber Knight, good coach. But he's 3-1-3 with Bretts because all his entire team's dead. Um, he does a strength four wrestler, blodge tackler, um, but he doesn't. He won't get Griff. Crucially, I made sure he didn't have enough TV to get Griff. So, um, so that's good, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I mean, it could still be tricky, you know, because he does have some inducements. But wizard, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you can't get like Wizard and Zara, so you could go Zara or Wizard, or but you can't get Griff. You could go Zug, I guess. Yeah, his Griff is an absolute badass, so really didn't want to let him get Griff. Uh, bribing a Wizard and a Babe, maybe, or, but then he needs the money to rebuild, so he doesn't want to spend his own money. So you might just go Wizard Bribe. I think Wizard Apple is maybe the better choice for him. <laughs> wow, he's spending his own money. That... Now, I think, you know, with all due respect to Cyber Knight, I think he should have maybe gone with... Yeah, um, I think he should not have spent any of his own money. And I think he should have gone with an Apple. <laughs> maybe double Apple. <laughs> double Apple and a babe, maybe. Something like that, or whatever. Because I would not have spent that 10k because he's got six rostered players. You know, you know what I mean? Now it's fair enough. He's got. He's. You know. It's. Um, yeah, I was. I was confused at first back there, Billy. I thought you changed it, and then I saw you, and I was like, oh, all right. So it's not. <laughs> it's not back there, Billy. Um, have a fantastic match. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, he's got. He's got issues. Absolutely got issues. But um, I'm not going to treat him lightly because I know he's a good coach. But then on the other hand, it doesn't matter if I treat him lightly because uh, it's just a league match. But, you know, I'm st I, still, I still like to win. I still try to win. But, um, right, perfect, perfect defense. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah. He's got a wizard, so I'll, I'll just carry on a on a rookie, rookie beast man. Hello, Saramal. <laughs> yes, he's just playing blood ball. No, I mean he's obviously had a lot of bad luck, hasn't he? To to have his team wrecked like this, four journeymen after seven games is uh, is brutal, isn't it? Um... <laughs> see, <I'll> see. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I got confused because uh, because somebody said something in German to me and well in fact it was tier lexicon is actually what they said and in my head I'm thinking of tier you know the tiers of like fucking team tiers and everything and, and player tiers and computer games aren't there so I'm used to hearing tier in real life so I was a little bit confused by uh, and it took me a while to figure out what the fuck was going on um, from seeing Tia, but then I worked it out in the end. Yeah, I guess he does have some positionals. A lot of, lot of brain power involved in the Chaos game there. Blitz with a claw, mighty blow guy. Um, I thought about not blitzing with a claw, mighty blow guy, but that's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it's really not a lot to chaos. Um, I mean, there was no point. I, mean, I could have come here and maybe pressured the ball a bit, but there's just no point, is there? He might as well get in as well. Keep the air, uh, keep the claw mighty blow as a safety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, done. <laughs> Why don't this game in CCL? Yeah, yeah, this is what, I mean, this is the thing, isn't it? I've done, to be fair, five, the 5-0-2, if it had been in Champs Ladder, mm, 
if if I'd cared about the results more in the game against the Undead, I wouldn't have got the reserve because the reserve is what gave him the wizard. So if I'd been, you know, maybe if I'd been trying to win more, maybe I would have had it wouldn't have progressed as much. So. I don't know, but then, you know, if it had been in Champs Ladder, the thing is, I'm playing other teams that have started on an even keel, haven't I? So it's been a lot easier. And, like, 5-0-2 isn't a great record, but it's looking a really good team. Um, but, yeah, that's the thing. I've been, I've been like, even TVs, haven't I? I've even had the TV advantage in a, in a fair amount of them. Whereas in Champs Ladder, it's, uh, you get to be 490 TV down quite regularly, and it is actually pretty hard to progress with Chaos Team, isn't it? When, when you've got a team full of armor eight defenseless players. <laughs> uh, one five, lost two, youngest oh, son. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm yeah. armor eight. Boop, boop, boop. Oh. Ah, so, so, do you know what? I've just realized when he punched me there, what I could do is I could screen grab the push dice. And then uh, update Jim Power so it's like better because it could be made from the actual game and it could be more three D. I could get uh, I could I could ask uh, I could ask Nordic Native to do it because his his uh, his Jim foul is way better than mine. But the pro the only problem is there's not enough of the card. But it would be amazingly incredibly better. Like it it looks just like a hundred times better if it was uh, if there was less hand and more card. Oh man, dingo! Oh look at that guy that I based there. If I hadn't based him, he wouldn't have got two deed. Oh shit! He'd have been stuck on a on a warrior. Hey, oh, well. I thought I might as well base, but it was a bit. Oh god, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> But with mighty blow block, silly question. Both? <laughs> no. Um, right, sorry for this. Right. He's, I'm just going to base. I'm just going to help to base, 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 aren't I? But here's, here's a good play, isn't it? Look, here's, here's a good play. Mighty blow into another mighty blow. It's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, it would be if I could knock anyone over. <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm being a bit silly there because oh okay maybe I'm not hey Kaz good GG I mean not GG but <laughs> um a very good start wasn't it. It's not a per see this is the thing, if you had two apples you could think about appoing that. You can't even think about appoing that with uh, not having the extra apples. Baby. Rolling knockdowns like there's no tomorrow. Um, I don't want to give a free hit on him, do I? I don't have a safety, so... The potential of a bit of potato here, but I mean, I guess I can kind of cover a little bit. I guess I would take dodge, yeah, younger son. You want blodge on your bulls, don't you? It's a bit shit to have it first skill. Um, but you want blodge on them both. Um, yeah, agility on a ball I tend to skip just because you're going to go break tackle anyway like you want break tackle like dodging on a 4 dodging on a 2 plus is so much better than dodging on a 3 plus and if you take uh, if you Here take we agility are now. entertain us GL for your match <laughs> thanks guys thanks very much for the bits I tell you what <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not trying to to fleece anybody here. But if anybody would like to donate twenty five uh, 
bit to see, to hear the woman to see how she pronounced Jim Shard now that it's capital S A D would be interesting, wouldn't it? I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not trying to get anyone, but if if you if you are gonna give twenty five bits, maybe tack a Jim Shard on there and see if she says it properly or if she just goes like Jim S A D now. That would be great. Thanks. <laughs> Because all of the emotes are now all caps at the end, which I think it's good, seeing as I'm all caps all the time anyway. All the teams are all caps. Yeah, maybe I could have put the uh, put the guy there to protect him from from that, but he could have still just relied on Dauntless. Hmm, I don't know. Could have brought him around there and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the idea, what I like, how I like to do my bulls is the first one gets block, and the second one carries, and then goes break tackle, block. And then the other guy whose block is blitzing around, getting getting some cars and stuff. <laughs> Jimmy, your attempts to solicit bits is weak sauce. Jim Shard, Jim Shard, Jim Shard, Jim Shard. <laughs> oh, wow, she still says Jim Shard, even though it's in capitals. <laughs> She's, she's aware that, that shard is a word, so it has to say even in capitals. Thank you very much, Tony, for this, Paul. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't, really wasn't attempting to solicit bits, but thank you very much. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? She's a Jim Shard person. Right, this is a three with claw, which is great, isn't it? Because it means you can just that much more chance of getting... No, I'm not. I'm really not whining about running pushes. <laughs> really not. I mean, I've got the blitz and everything. It's uh, it's obviously going amazingly. And I'm just doing it for the memes. The may maze. Right. I, I would obviously love to hit this claw guy. I'd love to hit him and follow and then hit him, but I can't follow because of Fend. So I'd rather three dice him um, and smash this guy to pieces with Mighty Blow. Has. Cheeky. Ah, oh, I don't know why it doesn't work. And now he can. Now he's got the assist to three dice him. Sweet. Uh, maybe I should have put a guy in there first. Eh? Oh, and T, forget for only $1, you get 500 bits and check if you have a free Twitch Prime subscription. <laughs> um, thanks, Barney. This is a, a durable Bretonian, isn't it? <laughs> He's been hit by the whole team. He just gives no fucks. I've already used my blitz. Oh, yeah, I blitz for that guy. Oh, fuck. He's been blitzed by the entire team. It's just like, what up? Right, I've got to blitz block with him first because I can't follow. Normally, I block. See, this is the thing. Like Fend, it might catch out bad players, right? A bad player might might block this guy, and then like, oh shit, I can't, I can't follow up. But if you're good, you just block with this guy and then block him. And and I say good, I mean good play. You know, I could forget about Fend, and I have done. So it can catch people off guard like Diamond Tackle can, but it's similar to Diamond Tackle, isn't it? Good players play around it. And bad players don't, or good players forget to play around it. Um, but realistically, it's rare that, that it has that much of an impact, the fend, I think. Now here I would like Jimmy, to follow... Have you considered making a new Necro team and naming both White Twix? <laughs> White Twix? Oh my god, that's brilliant, I don't know, got it. There I would like to follow Keep Them On Two guys, wouldn't I? So it, it did have an effect in the end, but only a marginal one, so I really don't like fend. For that reason. Uh, that blitzer was epic, wasn't he? There was there was some gym powers that turn, wasn't there? Three, six, seven, eight dice on him, I think. But uh, potato incoming. I mean, I'm really not complaining. Again, I've made two cars. You know, it, the game's going great. Got a blitz. I'm not complaining. Just funny that this guy was invincible. <laughs> so he'd bring her. Oh, yeah. 
Hello, Sky Blue Money. <laughs> Give me a pal. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, exactly, Kima's sector. I mean, to be fair, one of the Kaz was a peasant, so it, well, that wasn't so chaos -y. But obviously, this one was probably chaos, was it? Chaos was probably a, a factor in the claw there. And the Blitz, I mean. Oh well. Yeah, I should screen grab that, shouldn't I? I should get blocked. Uh, no, I don't think so, no, Vanny. Uh, he is. He is. He's got top breaths at the moment. Um, I believe. I believe he's top breaths at the moment. Yep, he is. Um, and he's. The other season. Does Burt's work? Oh, Burt's doesn't work. Burt's should work for Brett's. Um, yeah, and he was top ogres a few seasons. Last season he was top ogres. And Big Book Brothers, he, he gave us a run for me money with the uh, with Pro Tips ogres. So he's definitely... Uh, he's certain. I mean, he's got a bludge here, so I'm not going to get a three dice him. Don't have wrestle for him. So the potato... Well, he might get it covered, in fact. Maybe I should have brought a safety back, eh? That was a pretty good move. Pretty good move there, just quietly. Maybe I should have uh, kept someone back. Like, he started off back, didn't he? But I brought him into three dice. To get six dice with Claw onto that Blitzer, who was then... <laughs> somehow survived, this one. Yeah, but he, he, got, he had to do it, though, didn't he? I mean, he, he had to have this set up. So while it was wild, I think he definitely did did the right play. If he doesn't have this set up, I just hit the ball way too easily. Um, you know, he couldn't he couldn't stand there and, and screen it. He he had to screen it. Um, so I would say scary rather than wild. And <laughs> just punish people at random. That's the chaos way. I might just surf this guy rather than... No, I should care about the ball a little bit. I don't think it's worth rolling dice to try and hit the ball. Mostly, mostly because I don't care about the ball. It's the yeah, uh, <laughs> is the biggest thing, isn't it? Ooh, let's pull it down. <laughs> yeah, you know, Ian would be fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it would. I think most people would be. To be fair, I'm not. I'm not even. I'm going to blitz him and put a bit of pressure on. Um, this is just the league match. Um, are, are you talking about champs ladder? No, no. It's it's the top of each race qualifying the eight. The eight best second place teams qualify. Um, so, you know, you might not qualify if you're second. Well, you probably, but you know, it just depends. So you, you're more likely to qualify from second if you use a good race, basically. Likely to be two woodies and stuff. Things like that. Yeah, I mean the thing is, if I if I go for the dodge double GFIs, there's a good chance of using a reroll, and then I'm down to one for my offensive drive, which is horrible. So even if he can get a turn of stall out of this, I think it's better than me using a reroll. Basically. You might just one in nine.
Whoa. He does. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the reroll, but he just won in nine. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel a little bit dirty that I didn't even try to stop the score <laughs> and stopped it. But what are you going to do? Oop. No, I moved him in the wrong square because I don't have to block without block do I? Oh, God. Right. Have I ever played an actual NAF tournament? Eh, once or twice. Not not many Roar Rimbo. I've, I've barely played NAF style, to be honest. Um, well, NAF style in real life, I've barely played. Oh, well, not yeah, I've played a little. I've played more NAF on Fumble than I have actual NAF. But, <laughs> yeah, it is an iconic, an iconic duo, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, I should have moved him around to there so I could surf him safely. Right, he's got a. He's on zero. Better to go. Uh, no, he's got to be the pickup. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better. Hey. Hey. <laughs> right. Uh, he can stamp on him. Seems an alright thing to do. You can keep him covered. Right, I'm going to have to go for this surf, aren't I? Phew. Lucky dingo. <laughs> yeah, that is a shame I don't... But I, th I was aware that, that that might be an issue. But I don't care about this risk. <laughs> because you got a blitz with Claw Mighty Blow, haven't you? It's like the rules. <laughs> chaos. Chaos being chaos with this team, isn't it? The poor fuckers, the poor fuckers in Champ's Ladder couldn't couldn't do anything right, but these chaos are like, what up? Smash everyone. No problem. I really want to foul that guy. Right, let's play it safer. Good job I played it safer. No, though I didn't really do anything. He would have. Oh, do you know what? Maybe I should have put him there. It's still pretty safe though, even if he bolts, he's not in scoring range. It's going in 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 cra crazily well, yeah. Yeah, three KOs and two Ks is is going outrageously well, isn't it? Against eleven man team as well on his drive. Glorious. Hello. <laughs> the problem. The problem is it just the hello being too small, isn't it? When it's twenty eight by twenty eight, that's the that's the thing. Hello. <laughs> you can take a picture of me if you want, if they want, if that's okay for them to see my face. Yeah. Face. 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 <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be funny if it was me doing it. <laughs> like you know, because the the funny, yeah, the funny smile. I think that would be the funniest thing. I wouldn't mind uh, a, just a dino saying hello, but then it's like, yeah, do I want to make it too dino sorry? Maybe not. Maybe I don't want it to be too dino sorry, so I'm not really, not really sure what to do. But um, well, oh yeah, if he'd failed on this, it'd have been a three dice uphill, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah, the Bretts were... I mean, they started with four loners. So, yeah. <laughs> right, three dice him. He's got a GFI here, hasn't he? Otherwise, he'd get three dice into a two dice. Well, three dice into a three dice. So, he's going to get three dice with Claw Mighty Blow. But he does have the uh, blitz, the blitz, the wizard after that. So, 
Can you go there? No. Right, I'm, I'd like to hit him this way. He wants to score though, doesn't he? Right, so I'm going to push him to there. He can bolt one and blitz out. Mm, I kind of need a power. <laughs> as stupid as that is. I can't re-roll it because I don't want to be out of re-rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push into there. He bolts him and blitzes him. So I fully. Nah, I need him there, don't I? Him there. <laughs> I just can't re roll the three dice. Didn't even need dodge. <laughs> but, um. I mean, if he didn't have dodge, I would have re rolled it probably. But now it's not easy for him, is it? He's got looking at a bolt and an uphill and dodges, so. Look, looks like the counter score is unlikely now, anyway, so that's, that's good for him. He's going to go in the second half with, with his whiz intact and nil-nil. At worst for him, it's nil-nil. Maybe this guy should have been there. I guess. Doesn't achieve anything that he isn't. Because I'm not. Like I'd rather he was there or something. But I guess he should have been here. No, but then I'm there. They only mean a hard one out. So it was, it was hard. I mean, there's obviously some kind of optimal formation that I should have been in against the fact, you know, against the threat of dodging, uphill blitzing, and wizarding. <laughs> With all those three options, um, I think it was pretty hard to work out. I mean, I could have thought for four minutes instead. Um. You know that's the thing. Like you know, I should have, I sh I should have thought for four minutes, shouldn't I? Really, I should have thought for four minutes about what the actual optimal formation was. But shot a few guys in and hope for the best. Who have I got that can score realistically? I guess either of these two. He can score potentially. He can. It would be a bit silly to get him because he's getting closer to piling on. I guess. So potentially four guys who can score. Bastard. Oh man. All right, only badly hurt is fine. Hmm. <laughs> Fucking birds, eh? <laughs> right. <laughs> Regen never works on chaos. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Yep, he banged on us. Right, so might get 1 1 at half time. The only one reroll sucks, though. <laughs> yeah, okay, go down. It's the league match. Um, three. 
it's still gonna be it's gonna be really tricky without a reroll. That's the well one reroll. One reroll makes it hard, doesn't it? Very hard indeed. Very tricky to score. The fact that he can go a bit crazy with a wizard as well. They were absolutely rock hard today. <laughs> and so was my cock. <laughs> so was my cock. <laughs> That's the way he says it, isn't he? <laughs> my cock. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're just going to go with these men blocks and it make it safe. Try to get something happen. <laughs> get the right. My cack! Oh no! <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, every time in this situation my opponent gets a touchback and that's what fucking happens. Are you shitting me? Right, just try to not go 2-0 down now, I think. Because this guy could run through and uh, do things, couldn't he? Only <laughs> regen worked on kicks as well. Right, let's get some fucking scoring threats in. Number one. Number two, hit things with block. Mm. Hey. All right, he needs to be here in some kind of fucking handoff pass play next turn for fuck's sake. Right. Let's hope derp base base the strength three guys. Fish for a pow against this asshole. <laughs> oh god, got him. <laughs> um, let's go back. Alright. And now, try for this. Uh, the throwing probably helps me, so I'm not going to reroll the GFI or the pickup. Okay, that's good. So next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. I should have added one square further up, I guess. Hand off next turn, and then run, and then like hand off on the last turn or something. Might lose because I've mispositioned him. One, two, three, four, five, six. He should have been one square forward. Now it's going to be a GFI with him. No reason. Alright, getting the ball I was pretty lucky after the after the fucking kick. I do I do a pass next turn to try and just make it better? Dunno. It's crazy to have this much luck to have just ruined his team. And yet still <laughs> he scored. <laughs> and he's got a pretty good chance, hasn't he? Oh man, he's getting he's so getting fouled, he might re-roll this just because of the threat of getting fouled a hundred percent certainty with me having the bribe. Fucking wrestle. Well, there's too few players on the pitch, game stops and the knockdown players come in. What what should happen, thanks for the host, Tom 5000 Um you should get a TD, yeah, you should it should move by it move the turn counter two squares and you get a touchdown, is what should happen. 
Yeah, I don't know how it's implemented in Blood Bowl 2 either. I've put two guys there. He can go there and foul him. So he's the actual scoring threat. He's prime scoring threat, isn't he? Um, he could blitz him. Yeah. Is that a GFI? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that was a GFI or not. Right, can it hit him again? I'd like more star play points than him, wouldn't I? So actually screening him here is good. What's up? Go home. Okay. Just um, finish here with her. Yeah. Put that away. Okay. Um, right, hand off to him and then he goes forward. Is he protected? And then next turn, I'll just pass a hand off. I think I've got to do this hit. Do I need to do hits though? Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI hand off. Next turn. He goes there. Hand off to him this turn, then he goes there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI hand off. So he's gonna go to here. Which means I'd really like to follow him. Have to keep them to the foul first. Get the handoff done. Yeah, that is the most important thing. Don't re roll it though, because I've still got a chance to do something next turn if I fail it. Alright, pretty good. Man, I could have made the GFI. Right. Don't, I don't know, only double skull really hurts me here. Hello, people. <laughs> um, cheers, Tom. Uh, yeah, as long as they get one place, they'll get a regular drive, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alright, maybe I should have made a GFI there. No. If I lose this game because of this GFI, it's going to be. It's going to be justice, isn't it, to be fair? Maybe I should have taken the ball down on him. But I thought, I didn't want him free to move. Three squares. Yeah, knock down one ways one, yeah. Mm, I don't know, I think he might want to use the Wiz to try and turn me over. I think I'm unlikely to score here, he knows that I'm unlikely to score here, so... Just swarming it. Pretty decent chances of getting in the way a bit, isn't he? 
Yeah, that's the thing. If he dodges away from him, then he is a sneaky corner. So in fact, maybe I should have gone one, one to the left, so I could have double GFI'd a handoff to him. Just got to re-roll this. Oh, he used his re-roll already. All right. <laughs> Bang on. <laughs> um, yeah. He would have had to re-roll that because it was his last turn, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, so three dice him. And then blitz one and then block one, isn't it? Is the, uh, is the play. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six, seven. If I push into there, I actually get blocked off a little bit, don't I? Push into here is the best play. Relevant block? No. Right, the GFI that I didn't need to make, mispositioned to make this GFI, would have would have been a handoff. Whew. Lucky dingo. Whew. Lucky, lucky, lucky that I didn't pay for that mistake. <laughs> Dirty Dino. Phew, so now the obviously a little bit wary of the wizard, but um <laughs> I just see a cat. <laughs> I mean he does have a blodger. <laughs> An agility three blodger. He's literally terrifying at this point. <laughs> um, but Yeah, let's uh Let's have a fucking safe guy back. In case it all goes tits up. I mean, I had to score quick last time. I don't have to score quick this time. So. Rock hard today. So I can actually. <laughs> can actually defend against the blitz a little bit. I could follow him up, not that it really matters. Right. That seems pretty safe against a blitz now then, doesn't it? Safe blocks rather than greed blocks. Um <laughs> I can't feel <film> that. <laughs> it's not learn to play better, it's try to play better, you know, and and look, even if you take the hypothetical uh if you take the hypothetical perfect player or best player in the world, he's still gonna have an off day when he plays bad, isn't he? Or 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 she is. I'm not being I'm not sexist, of course, the best the best player could be a woman. Um but yeah, you know, so like that, there's skill level and there's also play level, isn't there? In individual games, people can vary massively. So, um, there you go. I don't know, I don't know, Raylan Stokes. Hopefully he knows. Hopefully he knows. 
can't actually reach this guy to base him, can I? And he's not as an attractive one to base with a warrior. Due to him having Dauntless. I've got, I've got to try, haven't I, to get this, this gun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not even technically, it's just, uh, it's just natural to say, to talk about men when Blood Bowl, isn't it, because... They do vastly outnumber the women playing Blood Bowl for sure. But there's absolutely no no advantage to being a male playing Blood Bowl. Right, let's try and not roll one or two. Good. Got a little bit he's a little bit dangerous, isn't he, this one? Not so much this side. It's not the most popular game in this one. Rock hard today. That's that very true. And so was my cock. <laughs> cock. Yeah, he's, he is great VGP. I am a big fan of VGP. I wish I could. I wish I could, you know, talk like that, but I just can't. I just can't do it. <laughs> I'm done. Oh. Yeah, this was the bad thing, running him out into a bribe thing, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's true, Nock, yeah, that's true. That's true. But, you know, there are some, aren't they? Mostly, I think it's mostly... It's mostly Blood Bowl wags, isn't it, that play themselves, I think. It's just little men, isn't it? Little miniatures as well is a thing as well. It's most dominated, vast, vastly, massively dominated by men. But, um... I'm sure there are some women who play it who discovered it on their own. Hello, you mad? Uh, doing pretty well this game. Uh, and today in general. But it hurts to have lost that claw guy. I shouldn't have... Uh, I shouldn't have just... Uh, run it, run in like that, should I? Because I knew he was going to foul. He's got the bribe. Um, I left myself open to that a bit. Poor play there. Right. Let's get cage. A, a screened cage seems like a good idea against a wizard. <laughs> that's pretty. That's a pretty defensive formation, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Knock. Yeah, you know, like. It's, uh, it, their brain, women's brains are different to men's brains, aren't they, and stuff, and, like, different, different things are more appealing to different people, aren't they? Like, you know, gen, gen, generally, that's why, that's why, that's why the case that, like, uh, fucking things, what are they called? Like, it's the same with race as well, isn't it? Well, race, nationalities, there's a reason why there's, uh, why there are stereotypes and stuff. But men, women's brains are different, wired differently to men's brains, aren't they? And, and we generally do find different things interesting and stuff, as a rule, so it's not. Right. I really want to foul this guy. I didn't want to do it last turn. Because uh, he was already stunned. Oh god! Um, 
Um, but I've got to try to get a foul in this turn, haven't I? <laughs> this is stupid, isn't it, this game? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Why can't I play this well all the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I unfortunately can't have these dice every game. Um, I don't think I've done anything particularly well or he's done anything particularly badly this game. Yeah, obviously individuals don't necessarily subscribe to the uh, to like the gender bias, but there certainly is. That's that's what I was trying to think. There are gender biases, aren't there? That's 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 what I was trying to say. That that is a real thing in like you know things, and obviously it doesn't mean that all women are caring us stuff, but and you know blah blah blah. But like that's it, isn't it? Genetically, we're we're like biologically engineered for like women to care about kids more, seeing as that's kind of their job, isn't it, as a species, and stuff like that. So there you go. That's what I was trying to say, without being sexist or anything, that's it, isn't it? That's just literally facts. Literal facts. Um, yeah, at least these aren't my breads being banged on, yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. There was also an interesting thing with, with rats as well. Where like uh, where there's there is nature and nurture. There's there's a thing about um, there's a thing about what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Yeah, society. But you know, societies. <laughs> society is again. Are we even developed for societies? Is the thing, isn't it? But yeah. Anyway, what was I? What was I thinking? I was thinking of something. Um, yeah, I, I know. I'm. This is th this is like in a in a. I want to get fireball to fuck formation, but actually, I kind of do want to get fireball to fuck because at least then he hasn't got the precision of a bolt and. Uh, but you know. We've also got before, before society as well, haven't we? Though that's the thing, brain on slugs. Like in before society, you've got monkeys and stuff, haven't you? And they're predominantly. But anyway, this is a bit heavy for a, for a thing. Anyway, I don't want to get into that. But um, there was a thing with rats about like uh, you know, fucking addiction and stuff, and they had like. Um, what was it? Morphine? I think it was morphine maybe in water. And they had like and they had like water. Water in water. They had they had two like feeders for these rats. Liquid feeders and they had one was just water and one was morphine in the water. And they got addicted to the uh they got uh they got addicted to the morphine, the ones that were just in cages, but when they had like a nice environment they didn't. Uh, they didn't get addicted to the morphine. Oh yeah, that's the other one. Told Hermit. There's two very interesting. There's two very interesting rat studies. One about the perfect and the absolutely perfect environment that was overcrowding and all crazy stuff. But then there was also one with like addiction and stuff. And basically, when they had a nice environment, um, they didn't want the morphine. But when they had a horrible environment, they did, <laughs> and they got addicted to it. And then yeah, he got a good fireball there, didn't he? He really needed. Uh, he really needed 
two um, two of those three and he got three I think he was a little bit lucky because the, the other sides didn't matter if these had gone down he just needed essentially he needed this guy to uphill and this these two to 1d and stuff but um, anyway wizard's gone which is good for me isn't it Warrior can pick up now. Whoa, imagine if I got fucked by that. Tragic not to be able to hit with claw, mighty blow, isn't it? Two, three, four, five. Could just go into this cage and then foul him. That might be what I want to do. Everything's kind of alright where it is. I just got to break his AV, haven't I, with a foul? Simple as. Don't fail, get sent off. Classic, Jimmy. You can uphill me now. Oh, God, without block as well. Down to one reroll. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it's good. That sort of thing, isn't it? Is is like reality, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. I mean, it's good. Not that that really matters. But I mean, that sort of thing. But it's it's also it's also with stuff like dudes are more likely to get into into fucking little miniatures and shit. Is <laughs> is is a is a real thing, isn't it? It really is a real thing. No, sure, and, and people are different, but the point is, the brains, the brains are literally different between men and women, aren't they? With like, women have more grey matter and stuff. That's like, that's literally, literally a thing. Um, yes, exactly, the, exactly, Kat Vilma. Of course, pe people are individuals, aren't they? Humans are individuals, of course. Um, but then, that also, people have different brains. Um, if I blitz him and pound, I can assist the block there, can't I? Right, I really don't want to have the ball here. Hello, Inarion, by the way, sorry there. Right, one one move gets us within normal range, that's good, isn't it? Just go for a 2D there. Is that block? Get him out of there. Him in for the foul. All right, two assist foul. Not great, is it? Maybe he doesn't need to be there. Fuck, it's a cheer fight now.
good. <laughs> More laboratory feral children, yeah. Yeah. On the laboratory, feral children. They found some, didn't they, in an American Horror Story? <laughs> that sounds that sounds stupid. Like I'm just uh, believing American Horror Story, but um, it was a real thing, wasn't it? That they found these fucking feral kids in some fucking random hick place. Kong's on your sub flood yesterday. Thanks very much, Toad Hermit. Thanks for the bits. <laughs> Glorious. Um, right, who do I who do I go for? He's gonna have to make more rolls, so let's just go for the foul on him. Like <laughs> biology foot flash. <laughs> GG. Well, it wasn't really a GG. Well, it wasn't a GG, but it's finished. <laughs> the dice certainly decided it, didn't they? Unless I'd been really stupid or he'd been really lucky. Which he got a bit of luck with the fireball and the and the dice and stuff. But um there wasn't a lot of playing in it, was there? Hardly anything anybody could have done in his situation. And a touchdown for Mr. Throw. Glorious. Sad that I didn't use this opportunity to farm touchdowns. Uh, to farm star play points. Like I could have maybe gone for a pass and stuff with somebody else. But the thing is, I just didn't want to... Maybe I should have cared, not cared about... I didn't... I shouldn't have cared... Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Fuck, do you know what I should have done? I should have totally given it to fucking this guy and gone for a completion. Because it didn't matter if it was a draw. Fuck's sake. This is why I don't like these big leagues. <laughs> because the right play there was totally to have gone for the pass. He should have gone for the pass and the touchdown himself. And then he would have got a level. But I was like, you know, Cyber Knight's a good player. He's got a wizard. He might, he might do something, and it just wouldn't have mattered. Should have got them star player points. Ah well. I'll know for next time. Yep, yep. I should have done. I mean, that's the thing. It's the right. No, no, this is this is a league, just the Rebel League, it's not a World Cup qualifier toward Hermit, so the right play is absolutely to have done an Andy Davo and, and lose the game to try and get some to try and get a try and get a completion. It was it's the right play in leagues like this. This is why extra arms isn't necessarily worse than sure hands in these kind of leagues, because extra arms benefits the team more, doesn't it? It gives you it gives you a two plus pickup instead of a eight out of nine pickup in games where it matters or in situations where it matters and it gives you a two plus catch when you're trying to farm star player points so yeah I really really should have tried to start farm farm some catches there greed here for it maybe get a Kaz Make it harder to get for him to get a hit with uh, the block guy. No, I'm not going to get catch, and no, I'm not going to go that far. But X arms has, has a lot more utility where you're, when you're trying to build your team, isn't it? And yeah, I, I think I, I wrote off carrying on him because he's on two. I mean, it's okay getting him to three because it means he can get a touchdown in a different game. 
but or an MVP. They're both an MVP range now. So there certainly was there was pros to doing it my way. Um, but I think I probably should have just leveled the warrior, shouldn't I? Uh, Reroll for no reason. Fuck, fuck, it's MVP. Oh my god, he's a machine. 42 SPPs. He's not even an elf. 20 if he picks the three. <laughs> he, did make, he did make like two cars or something from, from those three AV bricks, but, you know, it's a ridiculous dice, wasn't it? You know? Just. What could he do? Not much. He just had to have crazy stuff on like, on all the. I mean, he did well to get the touchdown, didn't he, with all the, all the dice that roll there? He, he just. Clutching at straws right from the first turn, basically. But first turn, it was almost over turn one. Definitely like turn two or three or four. Yeah, it matters later, yeah, of course. But but later on, you might get a stat guy and then go show hands. Like, it's not good to have a show hands early for Chaos because then he hogs the star player points. And the last thing you want is, is like some fucking idiot dude. Like... Like, say, Big Boy Fago, who's on fucking 32 star player points with block, dodge, sure hands, is a crap guy now, you know? Um, whereas what you want is, you want guys with claw and mighty blow who are, who are moving on to get to get piling on and block and stuff is what you want. And star players on your warriors and stuff. And you're not going to get star player points in your warriors if you've got a sure hands beast man who's, you know, a dedicated carrier. You don't want a dedicated carrier early for sure, even though it may make your early games more winnable. Who cares about your early games being winnable? Not in this kind of league, and to an extent, not not altogether in a thing. Bug dodge, it is really good, but isn't isn't block isn't claw mighty blow panning on better? <laughs> you know, um, and just carrying a random dude. Like, when the results don't matter, block, dodge, show hands is very good for getting results. But when the results don't matter, you'd rather that's those star player points spread amongst your team, getting, you know, heading for the uh, late game better. Um, so, yeah, and then playoffs. No, only one gets the playoffs. Um, do, do you have a jackal and, and face a 2000 TV Norse team? <laughs> Um, like I do I do because I, I want to win every game so that's why I didn't risk the match because I wanted to get the win but I don't think it's the optimal strategy to do that um, in the lower divisions in the I do as well okay good death yeah 100% uh, you know I do but uh, we've both won six lost two haven't we um, equal points Hood and I and then B for T justice. He might he might go fourteen and zero this season. He's got a shot at it for sure. I guess he hasn't played Hood yet, so Hood might take might take it off him. But um, right, I didn't I didn't finish the video, did I? I don't think. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.